Well, you know, I work a lot in collage, using found footage, home movies. So um, I've had the experience where sometimes the idea actually comes from the footage itself. Like I'll be looking through something and it triggers a memory. And sometimes I have some issues, uh, it could be from childhood or it could be later, that are really uh, important to me. And I decide that I want to explore it further. So I've made films about those kind of subjects too. I think a lot of my films are pretty emotional and um, I consciously try to build some space into the film so that the viewer can think about themselves in their own lives. So, because um, I feel like it's, it's, a film is a dialogue, at least I, I want my films to be dialogues with the viewer, that they really are thinking about their own lives while they're watching it and hopefully discussing it after they see the film. Well, that was one, a film that came out of an image. Um, I was working on a different film, came across an image of Hitler eating. He put a piece of bread in his mouth, and I got very disturbed by that. So I, was, I thought about it. Why did that disturb me so much? And it was because I never saw him as human. Yeah, only as a monster. And that realization created the idea, that I, I guess the, the beginning of that film. Um, and then it expanded from there to be a film about our, um, all our responsibility. Our, our, we all have our shadow sides and we tend to split them off and project them onto leaders or other people and that gives them more power, but also we're all responsible. We're, we're all in this. So um, that, was, that was the impetus for that film. And, uh, and that drew me to, that, that made it uh, a film that I felt I had to make. And it felt like it was an important statement and uh, an important film to, to, uh, to discover as I'm making it, but also to uh, share. No, sometimes I write it beforehand. Um, the dictator film, Human Remains, I had a script that I wrote based on research I did for uh, many months. I was getting biographies uh, of all the dictators and looking for little details about their personal lives. So, um, yeah, that one started with the script. I mean, started with the image, and then it went to a script, and then went back to images. I wouldn't say psychoanalysis, but therapeutic. Uh, they're, they're therapeutic, some of them, not all of them, but some of them are therapeutic for the audience, yes. And not everyone, some people don't like them, uh, but some people relate to it. They can, uh, I think they get the, the heart connection and it opens them up. And um, it's, it's um, the beginning of a healing process. Uh, but, you know, it's only a film, but if it can open you up and start that process, then I feel like I've done my job. And for myself, there's a healing aspect, because these are so, some of these subjects are very difficult, and when I grapple with it and finish a film, something has taken place within me that feels um, complete. I love this festival. Um, for me, uh, the first time I was here, I felt like I was walking through film history because I was meeting all these cinematographers and some of them that go way back and have made some of the most brilliant classic films. Uh, Hollywood, European, all, all different countries. Um, and uh, it, it was so exciting. And, and I felt like in some ways I was back in film school. And, and, uh, and I, was, I, lo I loved going to film school, and for the most part. 
but being back into that uh, environment was, was really exciting. And um, hearing, hearing the stories, the anecdotes, you know, so it's a great festival. It's a very intimate festival, at least for the juries. It's very intimate. We get to know each other. We have meals together. Um, the workshops are good. The selections, you know, I get to catch up on films. I'm so busy during the year, so when I come here, I get to see a lot of films that I just haven't seen. So, yeah, it's a great festival. They, they've done a really good thing here. I'm very honored to be here.